Hello everyone, welcome to Social Studies. We are moving on to week 13. And for week 13, we are going to be starting human environment interaction. Go ahead and say that with me. Human environment interaction. We talked about this previously when we introduced the five themes of geography. We just kind of scratched the surface of human environment interaction. Now we're going to spend a little, the rest of this week and then a little bit of next week, really digging into what this theme is. Your objective this week is students will explore how people interact with their environment and how the environment impacts how people make decisions. For this new unit, we are going to look at our vocabulary words. And we only have two new words that we will be looking at for this theme of geography. Our first word is adapt. Say adapt. Good, adapt, the definition is people can change. People change how they live based on their environment. So I'm gonna read that, that one more time. Adapt is when people change how they live. So they're changing something in a way that they live based on that environment. So let's take a look at some of these pictures here. People have to adapt to their environment because they may not have a choice in where they live. Some people around the world are born into a certain location and they don't have money or resources to leave, so they have to live where they have been born. If we're looking at these images here, we're looking at some different houses and these houses are built in order to help the people that live there survive based on their environment. So for example, in this picture here, you have um, a very dry climate and you see some houses built out of stone. They use what they have in their environment. They carve out their homes into these rock formations to help them survive. Now, looking at an igloo here, do you think an igloo would do very well living in this or being built in this type of environment? No, I don't think so either. We know our igloo would most likely or 100% melt in a warm climate like that. Where do you think an igloo, right here, would be a good place to build? Where do you think this would be a home that is built? If you, think, if you said somewhere very cold, an Arctic climate, that would be a great answer there. And we know that our igloo would be a great home in that area, but again, not so much in a different area that might have a warmer climate because it could melt. Then if we're looking at some of these other images here, so for example, this home, they live in a very wet area, which means sometimes they might have water near their home. Sometimes that water might go away based on the time of the year, but they built their houses on little stilts here. You can see the poles. That's so their home it does not become flooded when it does get high water coming into their homes. So people are changing their homes in order to help them survive in an area. We can also see that when it's being done with our clothing. Look at these people right here in this picture. What type of area do you think they live in? Yeah, very good. Somewhere that is probably pretty cold. They have nice warm furs to help them stay warm. Now, do you think somebody living in Florida would need to have this type of clothing? No, they would be extremely warm if they wore this down in Florida. So notice how these people here have changed themselves in order in, in order to survive in their environment. So we see this with clothing, with houses, and with food and jobs. They have to change how they live in order to fit in their environment. That's what adapt is. Our next word is kind of the flip side of this. Say modify. Very good, modify. This is when people change their environment to meet their needs. So remember on the last, last slide, we talked about how people change to fit into their environment. This one, we're talking about how people change the actual environment to live there. So I have a couple of examples of these photos here. The top one, do you know what this is? 
Very good. That is a dam. It's used to hold back larger amounts of water and have it just come out much slower. And our dam is something we put here most of the time to collect energy, to keep water in a more consistent area. But whatever the case that we're building that dam for, we are changing our environment in order to help humans. So we are making that change to our environment in order to help us humans. Same for this photo down here. What in the world do you think is going on here? So in this photo here, this is a type of farming that people do. So notice how they have different levels here. They do this um, in just certain places to help with their farming that they produce. So another example there of how people change the environment to meet their needs. So we have modify, which is what we just talked about here. And then we have adapt. So think about in science when we talked about adaptations, how did animals change their features in order to survive in an area? Well, that's what humans are doing here with, with our um, different choices that we have to make when we are living in, for example, a cold climate or a warm climate. We are changing ourselves and how we live. We're adapting to live in that area. Where when we're modifying, modifying is changing the actual environment itself. Alrighty, like I said, there's only two vocabulary words. We're going to dig further into these later this week. Um, if you have any questions about these vocabulary words, please reach out to your teachers and enjoy the rest of your lessons for today.